Hello, if you're watching this, thank you. Um, it's a beginner tutorial. I did this painting last night. Um, I'm always trying to see if I can get waves because I just like the ocean. And I've never really captured a good wave. So I was very excited last night and I posted it on um, Facebook and someone said, did you do a video? And of course, the one painting that turned out amazing, I did not do a video. So I'm going to try to recreate this um, today. So we shall see, or I should say tonight, it's dark out. Let's see if I can get this camera up here without dropping it. Very happy that I was able to figure out why my camera wasn't videoing and even happier to find out it didn't have anything to do with me that um, the Samsung's um, 9 and um, Android kind of in particular, their cameras had issues that you had to reboot them um, to get the videos to video for longer than like five, ten seconds. So I did a successful video the other day, so I'm hoping um, this one goes as well. So I'm using, I'm going to use up colors that I had. I'm going to try to maybe not use these same colors. Um, it was a little too much yellow in that one for my liking, although the yellow makes the cool blues even more cool feeling. Um, but I have my canvas, it's a 12 by 12. It's been gessoed. <clears throat> and then I have a float layer on here um, of the titanium white mixed 50-50 with Floetrol. And I have that on here very thin. I added some water. Um, I, I realized that um, my paintings have been very thick. The paint I've used has been very thick. So I'm trying to get away from that. And I'm going to use colors that I mix. If you watch another, an earlier video I did, it, it tells you the colors and kind of I'm using a glue to water ratio. Um, the other thing that I did with that one was I used a straw to blow, very skinny straw. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a coffee stirrer straw because when I try to use larger straws I don't have the same control and this made nice little ripples so I'll be using that again. So again I didn't use much paint here is a little Dixie cup. I've already put some white in the bottom and I'm going to add some of this beautiful blue that I love. And then eeny, meeny, miny. do this on camera with you. Again, another blue that's mixed. I have a lot of paint I got to be using. Um, and I just cover them. I'm a Starbucks addict, so I actually cover them with Starbucks cups. Or I buy those containers um, that are for like restaurant shoes, like for leftovers, or whatever, and I cover the larger cups, these red cups. Again, I'm learning to use less paint because this hobby can be very expensive, and a lot of paint goes off the canvas. Um, let's try to set this down over here. I'm going to put a dark in there. I 
second I use these tongue depressors to stir and um, that, I can't tell if that's that looks like it's black and not blue looks like a dirty black too so I'm going to hold off on that one cover that puppy back up Someday maybe I'll be more organized, but it's not my priority right now. My priority is just to have fun and be painting. I'm very fortunate to have this opportunity in my life where um, I get to paint. So this is more of a cobalt ultramarine blue. And again, I, I decided to not use as many colors. Um, there for a while, I was a little color crazy, and I was getting a lot of just interesting things. But I have yet to successfully get cells, big cells. I get a lot of little cells. And then this is, oh, I didn't write it down, I apologize, but... Just a green to add to the water. Now we shall put in more white. That. Now everyone said maybe the reason I wasn't getting large cells was because I wasn't letting the paint sit overnight. So my fear is I really don't want large cells on this one today, um, and that because the paint's been sitting, then I'm going to get large cells. Murphy's Law. I'm adding some more white, and then I'm just going to repeat the colors as I put them in prior. I'm getting close to full. All right, last but not least. Okay, I'm going to let that set up for a couple minutes. The waiting to pour the paint to me is the hardest part because I just want to see what happens and sometimes within the cup you start to see things happening and it just gets kind of exciting but trying to learn patience is a virtue so something I discovered quite by accident was um, again how to make things slide easily earlier paintings that I had done I would flip the cup, you know, and then go to slide it, and I couldn't keep it off of the canvas without all the paint plipping out. If I slid it around the canvas, it moved the paint off the canvas, so it wasn't really floating like a skim top. Okay, here we go. So... This thing that I learned by accident was I had watched another artist who used, who poked holes in her cups and then um, put like electrical tape or duct tape over it. Oh, it's forming cells already. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, so it won't be the same painting. Um, but anyway, and then she would peel the tape off and then move her cup around. So I was here thinking, gee, I wish I had poked holes in. And um, it's a paper cup. And I realized I had this X-Acto knife laying around for a different project I was doing. <laughs> I'm going to get cells. Oh, shoot me now. <laughs> if I wanted cells, they wouldn't be here. But here they are. Um, but I'm going to show you 
what happens is I'm push down and I just poke three holes and as soon as I let go the cup starts to float which is really cool to me anyway so this was my motion I did the last time Look at all these cells! <laughs> That's so funny to me. Oh, Janice. Just life. Life is funny. So I'm going to try and skim this over. And so I don't care about the cells per se. I'm going to go ahead and just play around since I'm not worried about keeping what's there. All right, we're done with the cup. Then what I had done is I have this rubber spatula. I think I got it in the baking section. And I proceeded to just take areas that I wanted to move and kept that motion. Going. So again, going in. I like what's happening over here because it looks like foam going on. So that is cool. I like that a lot. And then, I'm trying to think what else I did. <laughs> I'm actually looking at all the cells forming and just amazed. Um, which is something many of the artists, if you watch the YouTube videos, they're like, oh, go ahead and, you know, try our style or try what we do. Because no two paintings turn out anyway. And it's so, 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 so true. Um, there's, there's several artists on YouTube that I try to kind of repeat their palette and repeat their technique. And it doesn't even come close to what they do. So... I did have quite the compliment when I posted my earlier wave. Um, there was an artist who said, "Be sure to put your put your name on that." And I said, "Why?" Or a logo or a watermark on it. And I said, "Why?" And she said, um, "So nobody can take it." And I never thought about somebody wanting to how to take one of my paintings and claim it as theirs, like a photograph of it. So, that was a huge compliment to me, that she thought I needed to be worried about that. So then again, I poured white on top, and going in for that same spirally direction. I cannot believe, I, I am so, chuckling to myself if I had wanted this to have cells I wouldn't have gotten near the cells that I'm getting right now but that's the fun of it that's the fun of art to me it's I did portraiture art for years and it had to be very exact and people were very particular of course what they looked like and women always wanted to make sure that their chins weren't heavy, and men always wanted more hair. Um, so with this, the painting doesn't talk back to me, and I love that. So then what I did was took the, the straw, and I apologize if you get the top of my head in this, but I just started kind of blowing.
And I saw one artist who had a flexi straw. And I'm like, oh, she was genius. But I don't have that. So I'm just going to turn the painting. I just got my hair into my painting. Um, what I don't want to do is lose this line. So, I'm going to be a little bit careful. And as I said that, I think I just lost it. So I'm trying to create a pattern with the blowing that I'm doing, and not just blowing haphazardly in every direction, but to keep that sense of movement. As I go. And I'm actually blowing to break up these cells. They, I think they kind of create a static. I don't mind them so much in here because I think it looks like bubbles and churning. But in the turning part, I don't want it to be there. Did I mention I'm having fun doing this? Sometimes this looks like too heavy of white here. Um, sometimes I blow back into the white. To kind of break that up. to control a wave. It's fairly interesting.
So my debate is do I keep it bubbly or yesterday I actually did a little bit of dragging through with some dark colors like this because it didn't have a lot of dark color. I'll show you that one. And you can actually see, hopefully I won't get paint on this, where um, I had added some blues again to break up this monotony of it was kind of all just that seafoam green and then blew it lightly around and continued that spiral motion. Um, but every wave doesn't have to be alike, I guess. So, and I kind of like this a lot. Maybe down in here, a little bit of swiping. Like my sound effects. Huge fan of that green, anyway. So if I swipe that away, I won't care. All right. Um, so again, corner up, swish. So in here, it seems to have gotten boring to me, so to swipe or not to swipe? I'm going to swipe just for the heck of it. The question is, will I regret that? That is the question. And... tend to take my extra paint and plop it on the sides. I haven't been so concerned about getting the sides covered in paint like I was when I first started. Because I can always paint the sides later. And I kind of like to see what the painting itself does. All right. So maybe, I don't know if my, so my little mini flamethrower hasn't been working. Maybe that's the gods trying to teach me. I don't have to torch everything. I do wish there was some darker in here. Do I touch it? Do I not touch it? I'm probably going to touch it. I'll tell myself I won't, but then again. Where is that dark? Okay, so I can kind of show you what I do. Again, because I, I like the light and the foam. Um, please don't let me regret this. I hold my breath when I paint. I don't know if anyone else does that. But I catch myself holding my breath. Which is kind of an odd thing to experience. Um, Alright, one more sweep into it. Again. Checking out that green because it's not my fave. Okay. 
and I try to make it so it, it, it's not obvious that I have drug paint into it. I think you have a trained eye, you'll see, but maybe to a first time viewer, it won't um, be so apparent. But that's it. It's kind of, it's very simplistic. Like I said, I'm in a ton of cells. So those of you who told me to wait and let my paint sit overnight, um, it's actually been almost 24 hours. You are right, I've got more cells. They're not huge, but they are more cells. And um, I hope those of you who have watched found this helpful and possibly entertaining. Who knows? I would love constructive criticism, um, suggestions, comments. I am an artist, so try not to be mean. You know how it always sears our soul. All right, I'm overworking it, which I have. I don't know if anybody else does that, but sometimes I have a hard time just knowing when to stop. Just stop it. <laughs> okay. I think it's going to stop. Um, when it dries, um, I will show it to you again or I'll take a picture and post it on the, I think it's Make Art, Go Make Art with Gina DeLuca, that Facebook page. If you've not already joined it um, and you're new to, or if you're experienced, there are some amazing artists on there. Um, but if you want to learn, it's a great Facebook page, great feedback, um, and the artists are so generous in sharing how they've done things and how they created things, what they did do, what they didn't do. And I really love that about this community. Um, again, because what you put out in the universe, I'm a firm believer, comes back to you. And I have been blessed, blessed, blessed by many artists on YouTube and um, also On Facebook. So thank you for watching. Um, my YouTube channel is Janice Creates, Janice Hannah Creates. Um, my Instagram is jhanna1437. Um, I've started posting on there. And again, any feedback, suggestions um, will be appreciated. Okay. Tell me to quit. Please tell me to stop. Somebody come take me away. <laughs> Have a fantastic evening and bye-bye.